I don't know, but we're not hanging out in here today. Right. See ya. Well, I was just picking up something to eat. My name's Chris. Yeah, right we're now. not going to hang out and eat in here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Go back down the street. We need to go ahead and put this nut back on the back of the drum so it's all secure and then we're going to vend it and see if it runs after we put that new belt on in Trunnion. But yeah, we're going to put this belt back on and then on top of that we got to finish putting this together. See what size I got here. Now we got to tighten the big nut on the bearing. I'm looking for... Get a mess. There's two nuts on the back of this drum. They'll lock it in place. That's what I was looking for was the second one. That way it doesn't loosen when it's turning. I'm basically putting the tensioner on. You gotta use a 3-8 ratchet, and that's a tension pulley. This belt has to go on that side of it. My hand's in the way. There we go. Now we're all tensioned up. Did you see the belt in there? Now find the plate. Where do we put the plate? Oh, this one. Tip of the day, always get drill bits that have magnetics, um, especially your impact sockets for when you're doing your dryers, have a magnet in there. That way you don't have to worry about hanging onto the screw while you're trying to put these covers on. And always, another tip, always put all your covers back. Once you repair it, always put it back together and clean it up because you never want, just like this one was laying here, you never want to leave them because it could create another issue for you, let alone the fire department, and that'll come through if they ever see that. They'll be like, why do you have this off? Just take your time and put it back together. And I'm going to clean up my mess while I'm at it, because if I don't do it now, I'll never do it later. Get all these metal bits, grab that piece, that's it. Now we're going to go out there and we're going to run it. Uh, let's fire this up and see how she does. Always vend your machines. Voila. As long as it's getting warm, we're good. Eight dryer sheets. You only need one per load. <sighs> yep, that's working. All right. I'm going to take a look at this washer here. This one's got the bearing problem. I'm going to go grab my tools. I'm going to pull this apart. The motor's making a noise, so we got to put a new motor in that one. Got it. It's got torque bits on the back, and they're all... Yeah, it's a 60-pounder. And it's not going to come apart easily. Wow, it is rotted. Trying to figure out what's actually causing the noise. There's a trick when you have a washer. If you want to know if your bearing's out, besides the, the noise, like that noise there, that little roll you can kind of hear, that could be a bearing. But you can also pick up on the lip of this washer drum, and if it moves at all, like a lot, that's a bearing, but it's not moving. I think what's wrong with this one is the motor. I'm gonna take the belts off the motor. That's the easy way, I guess. These newer big machines have two belts on them. So we're gonna sit here. You hear that? That's the motors, the motors bearings. When you turn it, I'm sure it's picking up on the mic. The bearings in the actual motor are bad, not the washer. Somebody kicked this machine too. Somebody hit that pretty hard. So I gotta take the motor out of the back of this thing. I'm gonna put these covers on. All right, we got a motor somewhere else I'm gonna bring over, but we got on, so the only way to get this apart is we'll have to unmount the whole machine and slide it out, but that's gonna be later. Yeah, you can see where people kicked it. See, what happens is when your machines are out of order, you put tape on them or out of order signs, you take the coin box out, they'll come in and say, well, I can, it's still on, so I can vend it for free. They'll put money in, and then when it screws up, they get mad at it because, well, they got their money back, but now it's screwing up on them. So I end up having to shut them off because they'll still try to use them. That's, that's uh, just like I found over there, that motor. That's the motor. Let's see if I got it. Where the hell do I put all my tools? Uh, when they're running, because then you can tell what's going on. And that's not a bearing noise, I know that much. It's almost like a spring or something to the motor, because the vibration's making something move. We get to it before the cycle's over. You know, we might make it. I don't know. Yeah, see how it's shaking? It basically has a bad bearing inside it, and it's in there wobbling. It'll tear that motor up, so we gotta pull this one next, too. And those bearings are cheap, so I'll rebuild those motors myself. If you don't fix that, that'll tear up that motor where you can't repair it. It'll actually burn up the windings and stuff. I guess I shouldn't have stuck my foot in there. That was kind of like, oh, shit, wrong, huh? Remember, kids, YOLO. One of the biggest perks in laundromats is free shop towels. People just leave towels all the time. They've just been here for a while, so we're gonna go ahead and put them by the back, but free towels. I got to fix the sink in the restroom at this laundromat. It literally pulled off the wall. It was installed probably 30, 40 years ago and done really badly. So now I got to fix that. I got to remount it to the wall so that the customers can go ahead and use it. Follow on.
first got to mount the backing plate. I hope it fits. Oh, this is fun. It's like 70 year old insulation here. Get a hammer. Try to use a small hammer on it. Make sure that's what I want. I got screws to secure it, but I'm not even sure I need them. Oh, I got that. Basically, I just got to put this plate up there, mark the holes, which should be in the same spot, and drill some stuff. This is a plate that holds this nice little, I'm gonna move it over just to here so it's centered. These are the bolts we're gonna be using carriage bolts so you know the heads can basically go through that plate and then we don't have to worry about them hitting the sink at all and all right yep it's never a dull moment gonna go ahead and drill the holes we're really gonna mount this thing we don't have to worry about it and i'm gonna apply adhesive to the back of it just to help out a little more every little bit will help with this thing what i'm gonna do is just put a couple screws in it short ones to hold it while we put the bolts, carriage bolts through. Line it up, there we go. Felt like a Cubs player there. Put a couple of these on to hold it. I got too close, the wrong size. That'll really trigger them. <laughs> right size. See before, this paneling, you can see it's only a quarter inch thick. That's what the sink was mounted through. So this backing will literally improve all the problems we had before. You know, one, the sink weighs a lot, and two, you know, you're, people push on a little bit. Nothing intentional, just old age, and just, I don't know, back then, I guess they thought it would hold more than it would, but not today. Okay, moment of truth here. I think this side's gotta go down a bit. We figure out how to operate a caulk gun. Well, you guys had one job. There's one job, guys. Tell me where the water was. I got this caulk all over me. I got my hair later. Ugh. Now, the next part is I got that trap. I got to cut that out because they soldered it in. That's going to be the next fun part. Get away from this toilet. Right, I'm going to do a couple things for a moment so you can turn it off. Well, this one ran out of money, so we got to change it out quick. We got some water on the floor, and then we got some vagrants. So this will be fun. When you have it like half bended, you never know if something's wrong with it. Say something's wrong with it. I've pulled that one apart. Something's wrong there. Popular, 30 pounders. Oh, not a lot in here. I took it out already the other day. Make sure it resets itself. <laughs> That's it. All right, we just got done changing it out. Now we need to fix a few things. We got a door issue and a couple bearing things. So let's get to it. One of these, the door pops open. Not that one, that one. And what it is, it's this little, this little guy right here. It, this plastic wears out over time. Striker, and you just turn it out a couple turns. There we go. That one's loose too. All right, now we're gonna fix the bearing in this one. <sighs> Go in the back and then put the bearing in on the, on the drum, on the trunnion, real simple. Now we just go along and we, we look at whatever all of them, like this one's making a vibration noise. That's a fan. One of these is vibrating. This one ain't, this one didn't take quarters. Nice blue flame in there. Here's a good example of a bearing out. Look at that. This one's squeaking to beat the band. And this is the one we came back here to fix the bearing. Bearing just fits right in there. Oh, they put this right in my way. I gotta take the belt off, get tension off of it so I can so I can move the drum. Cause I gotta recenter it. Nah, we gotta fix that one. That's driving me nuts. That's gotta be horrible in the video. Which one is it? Woo! All right, let's pull this one out. First part of the bearing. You just gotta break it free, and then it should roll off. Ah, it's hot. Those we all have to save. And like that, they all shut down. Go along before they shut down, just mark them with blue painter's tape of what's wrong with each one. The bad thing about running them is they're all hot, and some of them run pretty hot. It's scary almost. These bearings cost about 10, 12 bucks. If I had someone else, it'd probably be a $200 job, 250. And I'm gonna do two of them right now in a matter of 30 minutes. 
maybe 20 minutes, and I only spent $24. So that's why if you go into a laundromat, you need to be handy because even if you want to hire it done all the time, you still got to be able to do some stuff. It's going to eat you up, and that's how you're going to be the zombie man, and somebody else is going to be the nice laundromat because they stay on top of it. Customers don't care if the machines are old as hell, but they do care if they don't run. I mean, that's what they care. Now we're just putting a bolt on the back for now. And then we'll attach the belt and it'll be ready to go. I'm here, might as well take a look and see why it doesn't take coins. Careful, roaches might pop out. Just gotta take this off and open up that coin mechanism and see what she's doing. It's broke, is what it is. Here, I got, it's broke, I'll pull it out. I gotta pull it out all the way. What happens is when they don't vend back their quarters right away or they get stuck, then people start beating on it. And this is what happens, see? This part normally does come out, but see that metal, that broke metal? That's the top of this, but it's busted. So what I do is I save a lot of my parts, so like this coin mechanism could be four or 500 bucks, but I have old coin mechanisms that I take out of machines that I'm getting rid of that have no value. Then I can reuse the part because all it is is this piece here. See, that's the broke piece there. So I'll see if I got one in the back. I'll be right back. All right. I don't know, but we're not hanging out in here today. Right. See ya. Right. I'm pretty sure I scared him away. Yep, we do trespassing orders against people hanging out in here too. Well, I was just picking up something to eat. My name's Chris. Yeah, right. we're not gonna hang out and eat in here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Go back down the street. Well, now we know the other guy's name is Don, so we can call him by his first name now. Going across the street here. He's actually going around the corner. Look at this. He's actually gonna go right around where that. Um, Dumpster is hang out. I know you all want to know that. Did you like that inter was that a good interaction with that the puzzle? Was good. That was funny. I mean he shouldn't be in here. He's not doing anything, but No, I just came in here to eat. Yeah, we're a public uh, eatery, just we're like uh, at the mall, you know, just come out, hang out. Uh see look where he's walking to. He's walking past the liquor store already. Look at that. And he came here to eat. So he brought his food from God knows where to come here. I don't know how hard up you are that hanging out at the laundromat is what you're gonna do in your life. I just, I don't see it. That's why we scared the other guy away because you know, as we're filming, he doesn't want us in his business and he doesn't want to be on TV having people, you know, because you were here when he was selling the stolen goods. That's right. You know, I'm gonna, film the, I'm gonna film the shit out of that guy just for the fun of it. I'm gonna put up cameras and mics in here and just film him selling stuff to people. I mean, have you told him to leave before? Yeah. Numerous times. They just don't, they just, they, unless you really get aggressive, really get aggressive, they ain't gonna listen to you. And the problem with getting aggressive is, I'm not here all the time because this is so far away. So, you know, you have to call the police and you gotta be here. You know, they're not just gonna throw them out for you. And I totally understand that. You know, they got more important things to do and it's not their business. So now we got that. I know what a lot of you are thinking. Well, it's already got a plate. Two nuts, it comes off and it goes on here. Um, but yeah, you could do a trespassing order on them and be persistent. You gotta be persistent. Basically, I save these old dryer computers and the computer's good for your, your dryers too, if you have ones that are like it, but the coin mech's what I'm after right now. And it's being a pain. I know it's gonna sound crazy. I save these nuts that are because you'll lose, the, these will come off. I don't know how, but I save them. But right here, I just saved myself about three, $400 just for the part, not even the labor. Gotta get this thing to open up just a scooch. Just trying to fit it. It's gotta fit down over this lip just right. And then you tighten the top part up. If you have pieces left over, that's good for the repair job. That's what we call job security. So don't let that bother you. See, let's see, we get some quarters in it. Got $1.25. I'm just gonna put these pieces back in case I need them later. All right, well, that's another successful repair down the tubes. So, thanks for watching.